Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do your daily love update my darlings. Uh, this reading is for the collective so it's you know it may or may not resonate with you okay. Um, so please just take what does resonate and toss out what doesn't. Um, nobody wants you to you know squish any reading into your world if it doesn't feel like it fits right. Um, and thank you to everybody. Cancers, you guys rock. All your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. I love you guys so, so much, man. I am so grateful to be a part of this and, and a part of your soul tribe. Thank you so much for finding me. <laughs> thank you, guys. I love you. All right. So um, anyway, we should get started, right? Uh, I did get some cards out. These came out in a clump. Okay, out of um, my monstrosity that I have here. Voila. This is, um, <laughs> I was led to throw two decks together, okay? This one is my handmade deck and the situations deck combined. Okay, just so you know, I've been calling it the monstrosity because it's really super huge. But yeah, um, you got a clump that came out here. I feel like uh, we're talking about here maybe... Um, either a karmic masculine or like um, a distorted divine masculine, okay? Because we've got the divine masculine in reverse. And this person is not doing well, especially financially. I feel like they're in a lot of trouble financially right now. Um, they want to come in and talk. You could be dealing with an air sign, but you guys know my handmade deck, this is elemental air. That means to me it's like about communication, right clearing the air laying things out on the table or possibly cutting something out but i feel like there's somebody um who wants to have a conversation with you okay uh get on the same page but i feel like they're coming towards you maybe to ask you for help because they're um they're in need of some kind of help all right but here's the thing i feel like yeah you, they need some money. They need some financial help. This person could be facing jail time. They could even call you from jail, okay, and say, help, can you bail me out, right? In need of money, a distorted masculine, getting themselves in some kind of trouble here, feeling lost. Um, I feel like there may be some kind of Lost in translation, I feel like there may be something that they're keeping out when they communicate with you. Like, um, they're not telling you something or so they're distorting, the, they're like twisting the story. I don't know. They're not giving you the, they're not, I feel like they are not going to be giving you the full truth here. Um, they could be facing some kind of jail time for money that they owe. I don't know. Their finances are completely upside down. Their energy is in reverse. Um, this person got themselves into some kind of trouble. But they're going to come and talk to you about it. See, they're going to talk to you because they know you. I feel like you're abundant, right? And they want money from you, but um, I feel like they're going to... They're going to be, and I feel like you're going to say no to this person because you're going to realize there's something about what they're saying to you. Um, something is lost in translation, meaning they're keeping something out. Yeah, jail time. What did I say? I'm seeing this as bars. So maybe this person is um, going to jail for some kind of, I don't know, financial burden or something, or they wound up in jail and they may need to be bailed out. That could be happening over the weekend. Uh, sitting up at night thinking about this, okay, yeah, calling upon you because you're their temperance angel. They know out of everybody that they know, you're the one who... Um, brings that sweetness, brings that empathy, brings that sympathy, okay? They they know that about you, at least in the past, right? At least in the past. And even though this person hasn't had anything to do with you for a while, maybe they treated you wrong, treated you like an option, they can clearly see that you're the abundant one here. Like I said, I feel like you have some abundance but I do feel like you're going to end up turning the cheek on this and saying, no, I'm done wasting my time 
and I'm not going to be toyed with, okay? I'm going after my happiness. I'm, you're grabbing a hold of that sunflower and that staff with both hands. You're not reaching in your pockets, right? Your hands are not in your pockets. Your hands are on your own dreams, your own path, your own happiness, your own wishes, okay? So I feel like you're just turning, you're not listening to it. I feel like they're playing on um, your kindness, right? And your nurturing sense about you, like, um, you know, you're their temperance angel. You're their angel of mercy, okay? You're their angel of mercy, but you're in this card, you're kind of saying, not anymore. Not anymore. I need to focus on my own, my own self right now. And then they say, how can you be so cold? Yeah, I feel like, you know, this, you're, you're allowing people to reap their karma, I feel. You're allowing, you're allowing people and others to reap their karma, and you're really, you're really just focused on you and your own journey and focused ahead, right? You're focused ahead um, into the future, into your own goals for the future, okay? And they, they end up saying, how can you be so cold? Because I feel like you're going to say no to this person. You're allowing, you're allowing people to reap, you know, to get whatever they have coming. If whatever energy they put out there, you know they're getting their karma for, okay? And you're allowing, you're allowing the divine to do what they do. This one wants to come out too. Yeah, they're in a lot of regret. This is somebody that you could possibly have been married to in the in the past, or this could be somebody in a lot of regret because they know what they turn their back on. Someone who is loving, caring, a really awesome soulmate connection, and all of this abundance because I feel like you're the one who's abundant here. I feel like this is somebody who turned their back on you in the past. And now they're realizing here, how can you be with, how can you be so cold in this card? They're realizing that out of all the years that they've known you, right? All the years that they've known you, I feel like you're turning your cheek on this person. You're saying goodbye. It's done. You're, they've been cut off here, I feel. And even though they're in trouble, they're realizing that... Um, that you're you're not you know you're not doing this anymore you're not helping them anymore yeah blocked blocked you're not blocked you've cut them off from giving to them you have cut this person off from having to give to them and help them and provide for them and fix things for them and you're done that's what i'm feeling like here you're done and they're reaching out to you because they need money. They're reaching out to you because they need money. When you hear from this person, they're going to be nice in the beginning, okay? Um, yeah, um, I really need your help. Um, I was wondering if we could talk. Can you please help me? That kind of thing. They're going to be very nice, but at the end of the conversation, they're going to be like, how can you be so cold, right? Right? So you'll know you made a good decision there because I feel like they turn like that when you don't give them what they want anymore. When you say, when you say, no, I'm done giving to the situation. I'm done investing in the situation. I'm done. There's not going to be any discussing of it. I'm just, you know, I feel like they turn it around, but see, it's their own actions this is a divine masculine um, who's either uh, distorted. This is a distorted divine masculine energy, so they haven't learned their lessons. They're quite happy um, living a life with toxic energy, okay? Or um, this could be a karmic masculine, okay? Either way, they're, they've been quite happy doing what they're doing, not wanting to let go of toxicity, Okay, and now they've gotten themselves into financial trouble that they're either in jail already 
or they're going to jail and they need help and they're asking you and you're like um, no I'm on a new path now yeah they get real upset okay they get real upset here cancer all right what else can you show me divine what else can you show me Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're just not giving to the situation, and they may actually end up being pretty emotional about things. I feel like you're letting go of this. I really do, Cancer. This is, I feel like this is you. You're just letting go of this. They may approach you, but you're, you're like, no, you've got that cup in reverse. You're not, you're, you're not going to keep being that nurturing, loving kind beautiful person that got walked on like a freaking doormat you're not going to allow yourself to be in that energy anymore i want to know what's going on here why did why are they having financial trouble yeah you've gotten yourself unstuck here um why is this person having financial struggle they can't manifest anything. And my deck is not in reverse, guys. They can't manifest anything. They can't, um, they can't figure out how to use all the tools that they actually have at their disposal, okay? Uh, this person has emotion. They don't want to feel any emotion. They just want to keep doing what they're doing. They've got a pentacle here. They don't know what to do with that either. It takes responsibility to make a choice when it comes to your pentacles they've got a sword here for the truth but they don't know how to tell the truth either and they've got a wand here but um it looks to me like that wand's not doing anything but laying there and they don't have any drive to go after anything that they're passionate about um so they're they're unable to manifest something here Okay. Oh, sorry. This was in reverse. Sorry. They are unable to manifest something here, Cancer. Because they, they, they don't know how to show love. They don't know how to be honest. And they don't know how to be responsible. And they don't have any, they don't have a whole lot of drive. Right? Look at judgment in reverse for this person. My deck is not in reverse. Judgment in reverse for this person, I'm telling you. They're getting their karma here, and you know it. I feel like you know this. Empress energy. Okay. What happened here? They could have gone through some kind of legal case and they could have just lost some, yeah, they lost some kind of legal something and I feel like this person's facing jail time. I, I really do feel like that. All up in their emotions, thinking nothing about you. Remember, their temperance angel, the one who would never freaking hurt anybody because you're wearing mittens, you're very innocent, you're an innocent. They love your innocence and they keep... They keep, I kind of feel like they just keep coming after these cups. Anytime they need you, they come to you. Anytime they need some love or tender loving care or help or, or a fixer girl, boy, whatever. It's not gender specific. They come to you. You're their temperance angel, okay? You see what I'm saying? You got to know who I'm talking about by now. Okay, you're nodding your head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, and they've done this now. Look, jail. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. It's. I'm not laughing at this person's situation. I'm laughing because like the divine keeps backing me up in every reading, and it it feels good to talk with them, you know. Um, but yeah, I, it like tickles me. Okay, but anyway, this person. Yeah, I feel like they're in jail, or they they're facing jail. They're they're going to be facing jail time because this, this, I feel like this is a person who is just afraid. But that's their justice. That's their justice. 
And I feel like um, as part of their justice, they, they get to look back on the days when you actually did help this person, where you actually were there for this person around every curve, each time they came to you, but they left you in and out, kind of, I feel, right? In and out sort of energy. Kind of did whatever they wanted to do here. Now they're looking back at that loss they're constantly having these memories about you. And I, I feel like they really are going to be kind of shocked that you're actually going to say no to helping them this time. You, you've been there for them every single time, Cancer. I think you're there for everybody all the time because you really are a temperance angel here. Okay? You're always there for people. You always try to help people, Cancer. You're that nurturer, that kind, innocent, loving person here who wouldn't hurt a freaking fly. They're not expecting you to say no. But I feel like you're going to decline this. You are going to say no. I feel like you really don't want any part of it. And I, I feel like you're not... Um, you're not going to be investing any more energy into karmic situations. And I feel like this is all this is karmic here. This person's getting their karmic justice and you are pulling yourself out of this. I feel like you're being divinely led to do that too as a temperance angel. This person has been shown they know what you are now. Even, even as they sit in a jail cell possibly for some of them, right? Even as they sit in a jail cell, they remember you as being loving, kind, giving, nurturing, and wouldn't hurt a freaking fly. And always there for them. Even after you tell this person no, this is what they're facing. They're having to sit here, possibly in a jail cell, and think about how they treated you. You just brought this person their karma because I feel like you're a divine being. I feel like you are earth angel energy here, earth angel energy. And this is the karma that they get. This person is now having to learn their lesson. This is it. And I feel like for this particular person, um, they just, they made a lot of mistakes and now they're having to pay for it, like literally pay for it. Yeah, this isn't going to be for everyone, okay? But um, but it's for someone out there, okay? Let's pull some oracle cards and see what advice. I want to get advice for this situation. I think you're you're doing what you're being led to do. Turn the other cheek and go, you know, move forward and uh, plan your own future, right? Go after the things that make you happy. That's what you're doing. You're just really focused on you and your new future. You're not getting yourself in trouble, right? This person got themselves in some kind of trouble. Could be um, like a child support case. I feel like it's a legal case or something. But they, they owe a lot of money. It could be anything. They could just need bail money. You know, it's going to be different for everyone. Patience. Temperance stands for patience. This is a temperance angel. You're going it alone. I feel like you, you know, I feel like as you turn your back on the situation, Cancer, keep a hold on to that balloon while, while you do it. Okay? Wish them good things. You know, uh, you've got your back turned on the situation, you're focused, you're talking to the divine, you're being led to do this, but hold on to this balloon for them, like, wish them good things. You know, um, when you say goodbye to somebody, right, and, and you, you hold like a little balloon ceremony, we do that here in, in the good Wisconsin, right? Whoop. You write something on the balloon and we release it and, um, you know, you believe that they get the message, okay? That's kind of how I'm seeing this. So write a good message on that balloon. Wish them well, okay? Peace, love, and light, right? The JDS Tarot says, I wish them peace, love, and light. Big shout out to JDS. But um, 
yeah, that's what I feel like you should be doing. You're turning your back on this, but have good thoughts. You know, try to send them good juju as you move forward, okay? Don't carry their karma with you, you know? Um, yeah, I feel like you're just have good, good thoughts, you know? Hope that they come to a point in their life when they can really celebrate their life, you know? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah, you're having the wisdom here to accept what is, okay? Uh, you've done the work, like I said. Cancer, you've put in the effort into you. I mean, it shows here. You're an empress energy. You know who not to give your time, your effort, your, your loving energy into. You're moving forward with your life. You, you've learned all the lessons from all these books, right? You've been studying with the divine here. Now you're, you're traveling. You could be traveling, taking a trip, a vacation maybe. But I see you moving. Some of you could be moving away, but moving forward to calmer waters. That was a lot in one sentence. You could be moving, uh, making a house move, taking a vacation, traveling. But either case, you're moving on to calmer waters. I, once again, I see alone, okay? Uh, but you're working hand in hand with, with the divine. It's like you reach out to them and they answer. Okay? You extend your hand to them and they bring it down to grab yours. I feel like you're communicating. You're, you really are being spiritually led here. You're getting signs, synchronicities, messages of what to do. And you're, you're going where they tell you to. You're, you're doing what, they tell, what you're being led to do. You're being led here. You're being led here. No one's driving. Look, no one's in charge of this boat but the divine. Yeah, and I feel like you're going to end up releasing this. Now, I feel like you have love for this person. These are little hearts, you know. You have love. So, you know, I feel like you are going to be able to release it after you get this phone call or text message or communication here. You're going to be able to release it and think good thoughts, okay, with the white doves here. Wish them well. Wish them, you know, good things in their future. Okay? And move forward. Yeah. Into your abundance. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. Your abundance is yours. You worked on it. They, this is something that needs to happen for this person so that they can be taught. Okay? So that they can have a better a better future, live a better way. But they need to learn their own lessons here. Right? And you're accepting that. It's, it's hard, I feel, to turn your back because you are that loving, kind, nurturing person that wouldn't hurt a fly. You really are. But I feel like there's a time when you must accept and release. Yeah, and go on to calmer waters, right? Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm being led not to do an extended on this. So, yeah, I think that's about all. Um, anyway, Cancers, listen, uh, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. And, um... Yeah, if you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow, right? And until next time, Cancers, know that I love you guys. Take care of you, and peace out.